Hey guys, it's Beer now, and in the last part, we finished all the special stages. In this part, that's the, that's the, um, thingo. So you may be going, so what the heck, where are we now? We are in the special world, so to speak, aka the fifth world. Each of these stages are going to be based on each of the worlds. Each of the four stages, I believe, actually. Or maybe there's three stages. So anyway, they're all based on the stage. I don't think there's any gobos though. There's no gobos to collect. But they will be throwing a lot of stuff at you. And you also saw what was... <laughs> what was that? That was Crystal Baron um, Dante, which means he isn't officially dead. He is made out of money though. Which means he's kind of greedy. Kinda of weird, if you miss that platform, you don't get that that life. Boom! Those guys. Those guys just get tons of noise though. Other than that though, it's kinda of challenging. It is definitely the last the last pit of hundred trials sort of sort of thing. Except it's not terribly long. It's not hundred trials, it's more just the last ten or so, like say say that. <laughs> You're wondering how did I get hit like three times just then and still live? I don't know either. Keep going. Go. So yeah, you'll you'll only get crystals, and by this stage, crystals use it as life force. Because by this stage, there's just a lot of better ways to get lives. They don't give you that many lives in these stages. Yeah, I played this stage; it was quite difficult. Go, but don't go too far. That guy will start going like that. There you go. So you may be going, so you're trying to beat this whole world in one part. Yeah. You'll be able to see how much time is left. I don't. I won't. Ah, yeah. oh, those enemies. Look at all those enemies. Kaboof! And a splat. Nice fun fact, they, they use the exact... They just uh, re-record the same lines for Brock's attacks in uh, the sequel. So it kept the charm, but just, you know, a little bit different. Uh, the end of the stage is actually right there, so it's not a long stage. In fact, none of these stages are terribly long just because of the fact that you don't have to collect gobos and whatnot. Seriously, that stuff just extends the stage a lot longer just because you're going to have to be going out of your way in order to do stuff. And this, you know, just kind of... More so just kind of getting lives in the process, and wow, the lag! Is it the PSX? PSX lag. I admit defeat. Star Fox. You know, considering we are at the final stretch of the game, I will kind of give my final words about it. It is a very fun game. It is very extremely un underrated. It was it was just really shunned at the time. I think it's just because people blamed its controls for stuff. Um, diet brr. Uh, people just said its controls were just awful and stuff. But you know, it, it works for it. It makes the precision stuff actually very easy. Um, it definitely is a challenge though. It's not... It's not probably it's not probably the the best game to go around saying giving it to your kids even with the kid friendly vibe it is re very difficult. Yay! I am so good. Oh my goodness, that platform was up for like half a second. Oh my goodness, what? I'm gonna get that. 
Easy. Wait. No, I don't want to wait. Because that guy will just come back and shoot me. I have seen this before. Come on. Someone's a bit lazy with level design. Or I am... Um, or I played this stage already. I played this stage already. I think I played all the all these special stages so I know what I'm expecting. It is quarter, quarter past 11 at p.m. Which is probably one of the latest nights I've ever had. But I am on a roll here. Yeah, you you are so proud, Oyster Boy, aren't you? I'm pulling an all-nighter for once. He keeps telling me that. He's like, oh, you, you, it's like I'm gonna do an all-nighter. Jump! I jumped and I still got hit. Wow. This music is good. When have I ever not? When have I ever said the music is not good? Freak! Seven lives. Gosh. And it's just this world too. I I don't think I died on that first level. I didn't die on that first. Le oh, maybe jump at the end. One jump at the end. I died once on that first level. In this one, I've died three times. Oh gosh, I don't mind getting hit. As long as I ride this balloon. For goodness sake. I'm gonna keep doing that. All right. What you gonna throw at me? Ah, oh, no. Soft music, no! My weakness! So, yeah. So, the beginning world, I, I probably think the beginning world is my fourth world is my favorite, and then the first world, and then the second world, and the third world. Um, as for favorite stages, I can't really narrow it down to stages. I can narrow it down to stage. I can narrow it down to four or five. Jeez. This is very brutal. Don't fall. Don't you dare fall. <laughs> That is such brutal, I mean, wow. And why is there lava in the ice stage? Jeez. Why have we got lava in the ice stage? Speaking of ways, these platforms are kind of weird when you think about it. Have we already done that before? Done? Oh, for goodness sake. I, I, I really do feel like we've done pretty much all of this, you know, flying enemies, oh, maybe not one of those enemies. Goodness, now I gotta dodge all this. Dropped all my crystals. Or I can finish the stage. That works too. Ah, oh, goodness. Trial on the Nile. I believe there's actually four main stages. I think I've been miscounting. There's four main stages in this world, and then you've got the boss, um, rather than three stages and the boss. But the stages, you know, no, no gobbo, so for the most part, they just kind of chillax. So yeah. Now, the last of the World 3 inspired stages. Will it be painful? Probably. Go! Get out of there! Why is... Fraps, you jerk! Jeez, Fraps isn't liking me today. Whoa. Where am I now? Oop, platform! Oh, enemy. <laughs> Double death! That only count as one, I know. Oh gosh! Get that crystal! Yes! Goodness. That's the thing. You got all these appearing platforms and everything, and oh my goodness. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Yeah, there you go. And narrow stuff. Oh my goodness. This is why I just don't like World 3. 
I mean, I see the level design and stuff, but it's just one of the more annoying ones. I prefer Croc 2 to World 3. Croc 2 works on a bit of a full world basis. The last one is probably my least favorite out of all of them. The Ice World does have some very fun stages, I will say that, but the fourth one probably is the most annoying, I think, just because of the end. Ooh. No, Fraps, don't do it. Don't do it, Fraps. Don't do it, Fraps. That's the wrong button! Don't do it, Fraps. You don't want to lag. You do not want to lag. Not twice in one stage. I'll see if I can try and get that worked out. Just Fraps not liking to record for longer periods of time. I, f I feel like I've seen that same setup. Honestly. Yeah. So yeah, I grew up with this game, and that's kind of... Oh, come on, I've seen this setup already. They're pretty much just taking already existing level ideas and just kind of mashing them together with a few enemies thrown in the mix. There's that thin platform I've been dying to see. Literally. Do that. Because I'm cool. Even though I jump out. Another non-existent hole. Huh? The hole exists in the, in the level version of this. Oh, for goodness sake. In the level version of this stage. Still going after this. Terribly long, long jumps. Oh my goodness! <sighs> I would like that life though. That would be, that would be a nice, nice thing to get. It's not out of the way or anything. It's kind of up here. Especially how many times I've been dying. I'm, I really need an extra life. Do it. All right. Okay. Good. Okay, lightning. Yeah. Why am I? I, I don't know why I like the lightning. It's just pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> oh, the precision jumping. I never liked it. <laughs> and the splat. Oh my gosh, how many enemies? So many enemies! I understand you give me like a bunch of crystals, but then I'm just gonna lose it straight away. Because I'm not good at... Oh gosh. One, two, enemy. Always mid... mid uh, spin attacks work very well. The spin attack is quite effective. Oh, for goodness sake. The spin attack is quite effective. Where is that freaking gong? I can't, I've seen this level already, seriously. Lazy, man. Lazy. Okay. See, that was the longest one. Because it's a freaking thing. Uh, yeah. Crocs Interactive. Oh, Fox Interactive. Crocs Interactive. Ah, oh, stuff it. And the password is very repetitive. Oh gosh, 1124. I am I am not gonna fall asleep at this. I shall finish this. We are 94%, we are almost done. Kinda weird I'm doing this in two sittings. It's a rather lengthy game as well. And this is probably the most annoying one. I tried this one, it's just got the longest jumps. Like, look at this, seriously. You like, jump. Like, that, that is just a painful thing. Oh, you gotta jump underneath. Watch out for him. And then, the platform shrinks. You can hear it shrinking back. And falling platforms, and oh my goodness. I think it was just that first bit, to be honest. Shrinking platforms, I'm okay with that. It was just that first bit, it was just a couple of jumps that were just pretty annoying. 
Now why... Why is there like a, um... Subspace of mystery... Emissary thing going on where all the worlds collide into one mega world or whatever. Now which door do you go in? I believe the right door. Boom! Why does he put those anyway? It's a strange concept, actually. Oh, I, th I think they're both actually end the stage. It's just you gotta, you've got different bits, and I just chose the harder one. <laughs> well, wish me luck. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh. Yeah, I will say this game does this with flaws. It's extremely challenging. But that being said, if you want a good challenge, this game is very, is very good for you because. Oh gosh! What are you doing, shrinking platforms? What are you doing on the stage? Oh, for goodness sake! Get off my boat! And get and get on the platform. That works too. <laughs> Random shrinking platform. Oh gosh! Oh, hello, end of stage. So yeah, we're 16 minutes in, but I don't care, because we're going to make this a lengthy-ish finale. Not, like, Sonic and the Secret Rings lengthy. Now, this is the last stage in the game, and that being said, if this is the password if you just want to unlock all the stages. If you want to completely beat the game, that is the password. Um, you can save the game. So now, my save file will be identical to the one on the password. That one was 100% complete, and this is 100% complete. That's that's technically 100% because yeah, this just completely does it. For some odd reason, the save file says it's 5-5. I just want to note that, but it's 5B because it's the boss. Okay. Now, one thing is that you jump straight into the boss on this one. There's nothing to be going on. What you gotta do is you gotta hit the gong. And you gotta jump on one of these platforms. They look a bit different than the PC version. I, I know that. You need to hit the gong. I don't know what I'm doing actually, to be honest. Oh, forget to say. Oh, go oh. Yeah, I was kind of botching it up. First of all, just the first thing you go, you want to do is back up into that gong. And you want to make sure you try and do this quickly and efficiently. So you want to head over to hit the next gong and not do that. It's okay if you get a few game overs, because seriously, if this is the only bit of the level, then I can, then game overs is irrelevant. Oh, fraps, don't fail me now. And if you hit all of them in a really quick time, then you win. I'm serious. That's it. I'm serious, that's it. So, Crystal Baron Dante is officially destroyed. So his soul has been destroyed. And as a reward, you take one of the crystals. Huzzah. Oh, come on, Fraps. Congratulations, you've defeated the crystal boss. Croc is now 100% complete. The following people thank you for playing our game. And we see the same credits again. And yeah, so this is the place in the credits. It's the final... Lag. Oh, come on. Okay, I'll try and see if I can sort of, I, I have, I'll see if I can try and sift through this lag. But, um, so yeah. And that's Croc. That's, that's all there is to it. Um, it is a simple game, but it just does so many things. And I really appreciate it for that. It, 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 it was very, very good looking for 1997. Um, the music is excellent, and the gameplay is... It does have its flaws, the control on the camera sometimes gets in the way. Um, but for like what it does, a precision platforming game, it just does it so well. I also will say the bosses are a bit throwaway. They're a lot better in the second game. Um, yeah, uh, pretty much everything is much improved in the second game, but the second game, of course, 1999. By that stage, we've gone the Dreamcast and everything, so... 
for them, and since it didn't come out for the Dreamcast, you know, you didn't have super awesome duper graphics, because the PlayStation 1 was still around, and they released it for that. Uh, there was also a Game Boy Color version of that game, but, you know, I don't know any, anything about it. Um, but yeah, so it was, it was very fun playing this game, and I look forward to jumping into Croc 2. Hopefully I'll be able to get that working on PlayStation. I'll, I'll just do PlayStation because it's it's still a little bit a little bit uh, finicking with with PC. Oh, thank you, Fraps. Um, but yeah. And there's the executive producers. Now in the PC version it says like to croc widows and babies or something. So it's like to all the wives and the children I guess. And then it says croc will return. Take care. They knew they were making a sequel. Of course they knew. And that's it. You get sent back to the title screen and the game is done. So I'll see you guys next LP. Guess what it's going to be. It's going to be croc too. Of course. But this was very fun to play, I greatly appreciate it, and now it's 11.30 and I need to get some sleep, because I need to do homework. That history homework. <laughs>